today. I'm going to do a couple updates, answer a few questions, respond to a few comments, and let's go. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. So yesterday I put out the International Food Fair um, video. I didn't take a camera with me, so I, I just used my cell phone, and uh, not bad. For uh, It's a top-line Samsung, has a pretty good camera in it, and I got a few emails, I got some comments, and the one comment I wanted to respond to is, um, thank you for posting this video, it was so great to have such a large turnout. It would be good to note that the money raised went to charity to support an organization that provides education to home health and hospice care in Cuenca. Uh, also, the ribs that I mentioned, which I didn't try, um, I said they looked kind of odd. And the reason they looked odd to me is they look like, they almost reminded me of McDonald's ribs in that they were consistent in size and kind of squared off and, and they were kind of an orange color. Well, that orange color would be whatever that sauce is, and it could have been delicious, I don't know. Uh, it was just my first impression, and I certainly didn't mean to offend anybody, but I, I just walked up and looked and said, oh, they look kind of odd. I was informed that those are actually baby back ribs, and that's one of the reasons they were uh, smaller, and the truth is I haven't seen baby back ribs in quite some time because they're pretty rare here. And so I just want to make that point. Um, uh, the person wasn't complaining, they're just pointing that out and it's a good thing to note. So, so all in all, I got some pretty good uh, feedback from that video. It was a pretty quick one thrown together. And uh, thank you for the, for the nice comments and the emails. And um, I have to remember that hundreds and eventually thousands of people watch these and you know, try to be more accurate. But, it is kind of tough because, again, it's my impressions and my opinion. And so, you know, what are you going to do? You're not going to always be in agreement. But these in particular, they were good comments. This is weird. This is a bacon I've talked about before. And it's gold and black. And then, now it's black and gold. I don't know exactly what charity that was, and I wish, instead of once a year, they would do this thing more often. Uh, maybe when there's other events, include themselves in those events so they're kind of an ongoing thing when they have the carnival downtown or Christmas time or that sort of thing. They could have these booths. It was, it was obviously a big hit. I would say there's probably tens of thousands of people that uh, attended that throughout the day. And if it's that much of a hit, and it was obviously a lot of smiling faces, a lot of people really enjoying the food. The food that I saw and tasted and smelled was of very high quality. It would be nice to have that as, as an ongoing thing if it were possible. Uh, maybe it's not possible. Okay, check this out. This pastry is full of some kind of meaty, chickeny, oniony peas and carrots and something stuffing. And it is so good. It's a couple dollars. It's super maxi. They're probably on the street for a dollar. I don't know what it's called. Pollo something or other, probably. And. I love this coconut water. One of the problems when you buy coconut water is it doesn't taste like coconut. This one tastes like coconut. It is delicious. That's the end of my comment on the International Food Fair. Well done. Uh, update on the uh, travel video that I did. I, I put out the paute and that one alone was in two segments. I'm still working on the Galiseo. Wallaceo and uh, the Chorta Lake. 
there's just so many clips and I'll be perfectly honest this is not my thing um, cameras I've been around my whole life editing video in the software is relatively new for me and um, there's a, there's a quite a learning curve I've got two software programs they're both for pay they're good they're good programs they're beyond me it takes a while and what I have here is I really set myself up not necessarily for failure but for a lot of work I have lots of short clips that I have to edit and put together and and make it so that it's watchable and it's taking some time for me to do that to be perfectly straight with you on that um, I'm not going to give up I'm going to get them done and and you'll see those uh, pretty soon uh, but um, I just want to give you an update on that it's not forgotten uh, I didn't learn next time I go out and um, do that sort of thing if I'm going to hit two or three you know areas of interest to take more time I had originally planned that to be a four to five day trip and it ended up being two days and it was really rushed and so the shot set up and that sort of thing I'm paying for it now uh, so you live and learn um, I do think it needs to be done I, th I don't think there's enough about these outlying towns um, on video or information and that's where a lot of the interesting things take place so I will I will get to that and I will get it done I work on it every day but it's uh, it's frustrating so in the meantime I'll go back to doing some of these in between uh, so that I can I can put these up fairly often and keep everyone up you know you're cool